Hey, what is going on guys? Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys some cool Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts. So guys, if you are a keyboard shortcuts lover, you, you have likely noticed that just how helpful they can be onto your life uh, while using your shortcuts. Although memorizing with shortcuts do with function can be a little daunting at the first time, it's very important to remember not everyone needs to know every shortcut. But I just recommend you guys to using that ones that are most important to you is a great way to enhance your Windows 10 experience. So yeah, let's get started to the shortcuts right now. So the very first shortcut is Windows Plus A, which brings you the uh, accent bar, or it's also called the accent center. So from here you can uh, just toggle on and off these all of the icons here like a night light or if you do have a VPN connection you can do that as well instead of going on here you can directly open it using a keyboard shortcut which is Windows plus A okay so let's move to the second shortcut which is display and hide the desktop so let's say that you want to hide your all entire desktop that has been uh, opening over here like I've opened the recycled bin and um, okay one more explorer here open a new window so now let's say guys your parents or your friends just exist onto your room and you don't want to know them what you are doing so in that case we need to use that command because it's not possible just by minimizing every each and every window so to get rid of that you can use windows plus d which will instantly hide all of the windows and later on you can bring at the same position pressing windows d again so all right guys the next command we have the opening explorer so instead of opening your explorer going to click in over here it's a uh, very very dummy you know so you can also use windows plus e to open the file manager just like that or your this pc or explorer and the next command here is the game bar so if you open any kind of game that you want to record, you can uh, open the game bar at instance whenever you want, just by pressing Windows plus J. And it should ask you, do you want to open a game bar? Is this a game? It should ask you like that. So if this is a game, you can click on yes and you can record. And you can start recording your games. It's just that simple. And this is the built-in function of the Windows 10. So let's move to the next command, which is opening up setting easily. So instead of going to uh, Windows clicking and going to the setting, you can also try Windows plus I, which will instantly open the Windows setting. It's just that simple. And the next command here is to open the connect quick accent. So which is means to uh, connecting your Bluetooth speakers or wireless uh, printers or the projectors, whatever you want. Okay, to do that, just press Windows plus K. And that's to search you uh, your wireless any kind of device that you have onto your PC. So I have no device right now, so I can show you right now here. So the next command here is to lock your computer. Uh, so to do that, just press on Windows plus L, which will basically lock your PC. But sorry guys, I can't show you here because I'm recording the video right now. So guys, here is a simple way to minimize your uh, Windows opening windows here. So you guys can do basically by pressing on Windows plus M, it should definitely hide all of the windows that's been opened onto your desktop. And the next command here is to open up the run box. So most of the people do is type in here at the run like that. So instead of doing this, you can do is Windows plus R and this will directly open the run box. Now you can execute any commands that you want like system properties on the XDIAZ or direct X diagnostic tool. So now if you guys want to open the ease of the access center then you guys can just simply do it with Windows plus U. It's just that simple as it is. Now you can uh, turn off the Windows animation or show Windows transparency or uh, turn off or on do something like that. So let me tell you guys there is a quick link menu onto the Windows 10 which you can do uh, by just pressing on Windows plus X and that should definitely bring you these all features like this. Now you can open up the tax bar, Windows Power Shell, Computer Management, Disk Management, Device Manager and there are a lot of plenty options which is very useful for you. 
Now, in case if you guys want to open your um, running program by using the number that this is possible in Windows 10, all you need to do is press in Windows and press in numbers like 1, 2, or 3. So this is the Woo mic I'm recording right now. And you can hide this by pressing the same number. So I'm going to tap on the 2. It should close the Google Chrome or minimize it. Alright guys, the next command here is to use the your left, right, and up, down arrow keys. So which is basically uh, used for maximize, minimize, or snapping, or snap out the windows to left, right, or wherever you want to push that. Like on here, hold the windows button and you want to uh, move around your arrow, um, arrow up, arrow down to minimize and maximize. And to snap this onto the left or right, you can do right or left, just like that. You can do also on the middle, you can maximize this full screen just like this pressing a windows up down and pressing a windows plus up down or right or left as you want it's just that simple so i guess the next command here is to uh transparently or temporarily pick at the desktop so to do that press and hold on windows button and press on comma and that should do that now once you release the windows button again it should come back to the normal all right guys the so next thing here is to create your virtual desktop so all you guys need to do is press and hold on the windows key plus control and then press on d and that should open you the new virtual desktop or you can also switch between the virtual desktop by press and hold on the windows key and control and now use the right or left arrow it's that simple you can see that i have opened up all ton and ton of windows virtual desktop here so which you can here uh, open up your recycle bin or something else or a program like on here I will open the uh, Google Chrome so now you want to switch between the virtual desktop so if you guys wonder how to close the current virtual desktop it is just by pressing on Windows plus Control and pressing F4 and it should definitely close that so pressing F4 it should close that again and that should bring your all activities running onto your uh, primary desktop just like that so guys have you guys so have you guys ever wanted to uh, type on an emoji onto your keyboard it's possible so hold on your windows and press and p rate button and that should open you the emoji so you can search any kind of emoji and press and enter so you can see that this is the emoji so now guys the final circuit here is the opening up the Tax manager. So a lot of people will do is control alt delete. So it's very annoying. So I recommend you guys to switch to the alternative with this by pressing on control shift plus ESC, which should definitely bring you the tax manager just like this. Hey guys, if you guys really love to have the tech ideas and you want to gain knowledge, then you should join this group. It's called the Ox Buddies. The link will be under my description. You guys can definitely join this group out. So thank you very very much for watching this video. I hope you found this video really useful for you on your daily lives. So if you guys are new to this channel then make sure to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you guys could keep connected with me. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next time. Peace.